everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a really kind of a fancy card for you today using the Home and Garden bundle from the 2022 Stampin' Up! Spring Mini Catalog. Um, we're going to do some watercoloring to kind of create that greenery um, behind our little focal point. Um, and then we're going to stamp that little trowel, so cute, um, color and color it with Stampin' Blends. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is our background. Now, um, you've probably seen me do watercoloring many times. Um, a lot of times I choose to use a watercolor paper, but this time I'm gonna use our um, Shimmer White cardstock. It works really well for watercoloring as well. I'm gonna use two colors. I'm gonna use um, Garden Green and Granny Apple. Now you can use your ink pads, but I'm gonna use my ink refills because um, I want some really intense color on here. And so I'm just gonna spritz that. Be careful, you can see it's splattering over here, but that's totally fine because we're gonna add color all over here too. So get it nice and soaking wet. And then grab your water painter and you wanna get this nice and mixed up. And then we're just gonna start dropping color all over. Now, for the video, we're gonna do it once, but for the for my original, I actually did this three times. I let it dry, and then did it again, I let it dry, did it again, let it dry. Um, so keep that in mind for the intense colors, that's what you're gonna to wanna to do. We're gonna add some green, and I'm just really setting it down into the water because I want it to just spread and be kind of crazy. Um, you can take your paper and kind of run those colors together, get them to drip around. As it dries, those water spots are gonna leave some texture for you. You can sprinkle salt on it. Um, that will give it a texture, a nice texture as well. All right, now, for the sake of the video, I have already done one ahead of time. So let me move this one and bring that one over here. This one um, actually is watercolor paper, but I found that I needed a bigger space. I needed more paper. So I used um, the shimmer paper to, this time, um, just so that we would have more um, space to work with. Now. One thing I did like to do also when it's dry is to do some splatters like this. You can also do this with your Stampin' Blends just to add a little more texture to it. All right. Okay, now let me clean up my mess and we'll start punching. We're gonna use two different sprig punches. For my original, I just used one, and then when I was getting ready for the video, I realized, well, wait a minute, we actually have two different ones. So I think we'll do that just for some variety. All right, make sure everything is cleaned up. You don't wanna get that green on your card base. All right, so let's start with this punch. This is the punch I originally used. And I'm going to go around and just punch several times, really trying to get as many punches out of this paper as I possibly can. Okay, um, let's do this one. We'll, we'll do a couple of this one. I like this texture down here on this, see down here where the water dried? So I'm gonna punch that, get in there in the middle, punch that. Get in the middle again, like that. And now let's bring this one back over. And punch. And I think we can get one more little one right there. Okay, so now, I've got all kinds of scraps falling out of my punch. Now we are gonna do our stamping. And I have a piece of basic white that we're gonna stamp both the sentiment and the trowel in. A memento black for both of them. Thanks for helping me grow, I love that, that saying. I think that's really cute for a teacher, for a parent, a grandparent. Okay, so let's color 
um, our trowel. I'm gonna use, let's use Smoky Slate for this part. Um, there is a die that will also cut out just this part if you wanna cut it out from silver foil. I'm gonna use Real Red for the handle. Okay. So this one, for the sentiment, we're gonna use our cloud punch to punch that out. Okay, so we got that. But this one's gonna to need to be cut out with the matching die. So let's grab that. I have, I'm using two other dies as well here. Um, for this piece, we're gonna take this border die and we're gonna cut out a border. And then we're gonna adhere it to the um, balmy blue piece and cut out a rectangle. So it looks like a blue sky with a little bit of a hill. Okay, let's bring over our emboss machine, move all my punches out of the way. Let's do this one first. And really we just need a little bit of the edge. And we will now, let's adhere it to the balmy blue piece. Just kind of right there in the middle. All right. Now we'll take this stitched rectangle, this long and skinny stitched rectangle is from the um, Ornate Layers dies. It's not from the stitched rectangle dies. Okay, put that one on there. And, uh oh, we slipped a little bit. Let's make sure we get it right. Well, it looks like it slipped right back in place. There we go. We're ready to put our card together. Let's put that die back so we don't lose it. Check out that. There we have kind of like a little, just a little horizon. All right, we're gonna use a garden green card base and a piece of basic white. The white is four by five and a fourth. And I'm gonna start by adhering this first with dimensionals like that, right in the middle. Something there on that piece, so we'll just flip it over. Okay, get it centered. Like that. Now, grab your liquid glue, and we're just gonna start arranging these leaves. And you might need to trim some of them a little bit shorter so that they don't stick off the card. All right, let's do one of these. Just want them to all kind of be facing different directions, doing different things, not looking terribly uniform. Ooh, I like the coloring on that one. The dimension is the dimensional is going to get in the way, so some of them you are going to need to shorten just a bit. That one can go there. And I think I'm gonna tear this one in half. And we'll do one right there. And we'll do one right there. Now let's get all the little ones and start filling in with those. I love how all the green, each one is different. The texture on each of the, the leaves is different because of that watercolor and the way that the, the ink spreads around. Let's do another one right here. Okay, 
Now we can take our little trowel and get a dimensional, which I don't have a mini, so I'm gonna cut off the edge of my regular dimensionals. And we're gonna stick that, and we're gonna kinda of tuck that in there if we can, like that. And then grab your cloud, and we'll put that right there. Now I have a few of these sequins. I'm gonna add these. You could use any kind of thing. I just wanted to add in some more color, just to kind of look maybe like some flowers. Well, all right, we'll take two. Let's do one more big one up here like that. Okay, now last but not least, we've got to add a bow. I'm going to take some of my linen thread. I'm going to take two, one piece folded in half. And we're going to tie a double bow. That's when you use two pieces as one. You get kind of a fuller look to your, your bow. And then a glue dot right there. Now, last but not least, let's put this on our card base with dimensionals. I'll put one in each corner. And there we go. A really fun card. Again, I think that's a great sentiment for a teacher. If you have a need for a teacher card, but also for a friend who helps you or a loved one who helps your kids, um, I just think that's a really fun sentiment. All right, click the link here on YouTube to hop over to my blog. There's a free PDF as well as two other home and garden projects. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.